Now you might have created a spreadsheet like this, a dashboard like this, or you might have purchased one of my templates and you're just uh, wondering how to change the color. So I provide some very basic instructions, but uh, there's nothing like um, a visual. So there's several scenarios and I'm just going to walk you through the first one, which is the simplest. So you have the template this way, you follow the colors and that gives you something th uh, this way. So if you want to build this one or buy this one, I'll give you the link of the proper video. I'm not going to do it all, ag all over again. I'm just showing you the, the colors. So the first thing to do is you go under page layout and you go under colors. And here you just slide your, your cursor down and you see what happens. If it changes, are the, are the colors changes? And you need to check are all the colors changing or not. Um, so in this, in this very specific scenario, you win it. All the colors change, so it's very easy for you to change the color. You could decide to, to stick to this, with this beautiful green, uh, <laughs> blue. And then you are on your way. So that's all you need to do. You check the other tabs. Does it look okay? Work tab, instructions. Instructions might, be, might <laughs> seem a bit bright, but you can uh, change that. That's not a problem. Now, something else that you can do, but I don't always uh, recommend it because you can um, mess things up a bit, is, is uh, going to end up page layout and themes. So what that does, it's also change the, the font and other components. So let's make an experiment. Let's try, like, for instance, this one, change the font. It all seems to be okay. Uh, change the font, oh, very bright. Um, but I had one uh, scenario, one example where it was really messing things up a bit too much. Uh, look at the way the, the those those guys are here. So they are doing okay, but there are some uh, fonts that are very wide and therefore they will be a bit messed up. But for here, for instance, uh, it looks like it's just uh, when you press enter, it looks like it fixes some things that uh, um, it's up to you if you want to change uh, also the font and the likes, it's also a possibility. Now, I want to give you another scenario here. This is the Kanban one that I have done. Um, so you just do the same thing. You, you, you go here, you go in the page layout, you press color and you slide your cursor and you think, oh, uh, does it work or not? And this is the, an example when not all colors change. Uh, and actually that highlights some, uh, some issue here, maybe even. Uh, but if we forget this, uh, this issue that there is here, you notice that two boards are changing. Those, this one and this one are changing, uh, but this one and this one stay constant. And uh, the reason uh, why is that uh, this one, I didn't pick them up from the standard. So if you go into home and you want to put a theme color here, if I didn't pick any of those colors, I created one because I couldn't find the red I wanted here. So this is actually a, a, a good example of, you know, just uh, changing the slider. I mean, you, mi you might be happy with uh, just the, those colors here, but if you want to change the color here, you would have to do it manually. You would have to select all, all these, um, as they have done, and you would have to put another color. So you could either put one of the colors uh, I'm just going to take one of the colors from the theme colors. There you go. And then once you've changed it from the theme color, if you go back here and slide, it will change with the, with the others. So in other words, when you look here under the, the, the theme color tab, everything that is here will change with the page layout. But um, if he, if he doesn't, if it's not from here, if it's something that you've created yourself, like all the recent colors, or even the standard colors don't change. And uh, they've done that just in case you have, a, let's say you have a logo and you don't want the logo color to change. So therefore, if you put your very specific color, uh, you're gonna have to change all that uh, manually. Now, before I, I can tell you how to, to change it manually, um, I want to also stress that uh, the conditional formatting will also have to be changed if it's not a standard color. For instance, here, this is not the standard color, this red here. If you do under conditional formatting, you would have to go here and you would have to change it. So most of the time, I'm trying to use the standard colors, um, sometimes by using a different uh, page layout color theme here. 
But there are times like for, for this one, for instance, I, I really wanted to, I really saw those colors online and I really wanted to have the same ones. So I just, this is why I gave this very specific green and this very specific red here. So now how do we change the colors? Obviously you have several ways to change the color. You can, you can come here, you can come, oops, you can come here. And here you, you know, you don't take this one. You don't, either you take one of the theme or you do go under more colors and then you pick some colors here. Or if you want to be even more granular, you can pick some colors here. But what you need to do is you need to remember this number here, the X number. You need to put it somewhere, you, you copy it and say, okay, I'm changing this to this. Uh, but here I need to remember that this is the code I need to apply to any other uh, color that I want to change the same way. Now, unfortunately, in, uh, in Excel, you don't have that, but uh, you do have that in PowerPoint. You have, uh, let me uh, show you what I mean. Now, how to get a color from the internet. So you, you need to you, you use your snipping tool. Say, this is one way to do it. If you have PowerPoint, assume that you have PowerPoint. Uh, you take the color, you select the color that you have here somewhere, and you just dump it into your PowerPoint. Once that is done, you just need to create something. It could be just uh, a square like this. And here you want to fill it up. Unfortunately, they don't have the, that function in Excel. And you take the eyedropper and you eyedropped it here. And then you are on your way. And once you have this, then you go under Shape Fill. And you go under More Fill Colors. And you go to Custom. And I would give you the number 00CC99. And then you can go back to your Excel and copy the same color. But there is, um, I suppose there are some tools on Windows. Uh, I have one, I can't really remember what it's called, that would allow you to go anywhere and copy the, uh, the color code um, uh, faster than this. But anyway, so this is another way uh, to doing it. So first, to summarize, first try the page layout colors. If you're courageous, you can also try the uh, page layout themes. Um, and if that doesn't work, you need to investigate uh, what is the color uh, that has uh, not been included in the theme color. So you can go and change them manually. But you need to remember also to have a look um, at uh, the conditional formatting. Like in this very example, for instance, those colors um, are uh, conditional formatted. And therefore, these colors will need to be changed. What are not in uh, part of the a theme color so this one was not part this one to know you just do edit rules you click on format fill and you've noticed none of them is selected so it's probably a, a very specific one and this one edit color format it's it's uh, one of the standard colors so no luck here either so this one would have to be changed manually okay so this is a summary uh, i hope i was not too confusing um, but uh, I think that's something that I've been asked quite often, so here you go.